Hey everybody, it's Pastor Steve. And no, something's not wrong with your computer. I'm filming this today in almost total darkness. Almost total darkness. Do you wanna know why? I'm filming today in almost total darkness because in Matthew chapter 27, we read one of the gospel's accounts of Jesus dying on the cross for us. It happens on a day, a Friday, that we often call Good Friday. And that's a really weird name, Good Friday. Isn't people dying, especially in really horrible ways like the cross, bad? Well, yes. And it's okay that it's bad. And at the same time, it's good that it happened because of what happens next and what it means for you and for me. When Jesus dies on the cross for you and for me, he takes on all of our sin, all of the things that we've done against God and against other people, all of the things that separate us from God. He takes those into himself. And when he dies, he forgives us of all of that forever. Nothing you have done, nothing you are doing and nothing you will ever do will ever separate you from God again. Now, as that's going on though, something strange happens. And actually that's what I wanna to talk to you most about today. In Matthew chapter 27, it says that when Jesus was hung on the cross, suddenly everything got very, very dark like a huge thunderstorm was coming up. Why was that? Well, interestingly, unlike movies like Moana or New Frozen 2, which you may have seen, there aren't really like spirits or goddesses of the earth like Tefiti around. When we say Mother Earth, we don't really mean that there's some living force inside the world. At the same time, though, the Bible also talks about everything God has ever made, worshiping him and crying out to him and being in a relationship with him in its own special way. And that includes the rocks, the trees. That includes the rivers, the sky, the planets, the sun, everything. Day in and day out, the Psalms tell us is glorifying God. At the same time, everything has been impacted by our sin. It's like the world is broken, like sometimes the movies you watch when it looks like the bad guy is going to win and it starts to rain just because it looks like the bad guy is going to win, because something sad's happening and the sad music comes and the sky gets dark. Well, in the same way, when Jesus was dying on the cross, the world itself was reacting to their king dying. In the book of Romans, chapter 8, the Bible talks about all of creation crying out, groaning, like they're so hungry, or they're almost in pain, or they're so sad. They're longing for Jesus to come back and finish everything that he started. And that's so important because we want to remember that Jesus dying for us, Jesus didn't just die for some spiritual part of us. He didn't just die for us to get to go to heaven. He didn't just die to beat the devil. Jesus died so that everything God has made, including this world, might be changed, redeemed, made new, made whole. So hopefully this weekend has some good weather for you. But as you're outside playing, walking those trails, trying to still have a good Easter weekend, remember, everybody, everything you pass, every tree, every rock, the sun in the sky, 
the wind at your back. Everything is praising Jesus and saying, thank you, Jesus, for dying. Come back soon. Come back soon. Come back soon. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for today, a day that is good, even though it's sad in certain ways. Help us to know that you came to make everything new and good again. And help us to hope and long and wait for you to come back. I pray this in your name. Amen. If you're able to, get outside today. And maybe take a minute with your family or just by yourself. And praise God for the incredible world he's made.